What up, what up, Winbush here. And if you ever wanted to get started using the Unreal Engine motion design tools, but didn't quite know where to start, well, let me help you out. But before I do that, make sure you leave me a comment after this video, because I want to know what kind of tutorials you want to see next. So to get started, of course, you want to open up Unreal Engine 5.6, and you'll be greeted by this window that says Unreal Project Browser. So you want to go over to the left where you have a bunch of templates. You want to go to this one that says Film Video and Live Events, and then you'll have about six templates here. So the one you want to click on is this one here. This is motion design. And then you just want to come down here to project name, name it whatever you want, and then come down here and click create. And once it's opened up, this is exactly what everything should look like. Now, the reason that we did the motion design template is because it's going to have auto playing as you need automatically activated. So you could just get started to working. But if you come down here to where it says content browser in the lower left, you'll notice that there's a folder here called motion design. Now, if I double click on this and then if I double click on map, you'll notice that we have two different levels here. The 3D one is the one that opens up whenever you start a new project. And then if I double click on 2D motion, this is going to give you a motion design template for if you want to do like After Effects 2D type of work. But if you want to make something completely from scratch, let me get you started. So down here where it says content browser, you want to right click. Then you want to come up here to level and i'm just going to name this new world just tutorial and then i'm going to double click on it and then right here it's going to say save content you want to make sure you save everything and now you're going to be greeted with a blank slate so you want to come up here to the top left where it says selection mode i'm going to left click on this and i'm going to come all the way down here to where it says motion design and once we do that you'll notice that we're greeted with a bunch of different attributes over here but there's one more thing we need to activate over here in the middle where it says motion design you want to make sure you click on this as well. And now that's going to bring up your rulers and everything else you need to make it look a little bit more like After Effects, right? But there's one more step you need to take to be able to add in your cameras, your lights, and everything you need to get started right away. So over here where it says create defaults, you want to left click on this. And then you're going to have this menu pop up. This is configure default scene actors. Now, everything that's in here, you want to click on spawn, which is going to create everything for your scene that you need. And once you do that over here, inside of your motion design outliner, if I scroll this down, now you'll see we have default scene and we have our lights, we have our post process volume and we have our camera. Now, if you want to create like a background gradient or something that just gets you started, that's really simple to set up as well. If I come over here to the left where it says rectangle, I'm going to double click on this. And now you see we have a rectangle in the middle of our viewport. But if I come down here to where it says align actors, you want to left click on this and then you'll have two different menus. You'll have actors and you have screen. You want to left click on screen and then down here in the bottom right. So I'm going to left click on this. And now you can see that that rectangle engulfs our entire area. Now, one last thing, if we want to make this into a gradient, it's really easy to do. And right here where it says material style, we're going to click on solid and then we're going to click on linear gradient. Now, since this is a short form video, this is all I'm going to show right now. Make sure you let me know what you want next. Take care. 